hello everyone this is Dion welcome back to Gabor so I am back here with a new custom room its name is fly me OS as you can see so this is the most customizable and most stylist and the best one I love most so this is the home screen of fly me OS as you can see so I have customized it with the wallpaper and also the buttons and also I have downloaded third-party applications as you can see so this is the launcher if we talk about the launcher and this is the widget uh, you can arrange icons or change wallpaper by long pressing on the home screen and there is the option arrange icon uh, you can move the icon just like this as you can see and by shaking your device uh, the icon will be rearranged so let me show you so I am shaking my device as you can see it's moving so so that was the arrange icons so now let me show you the changing of wallpaper just tap on the wallpaper if you want to change wallpaper just you can change wallpapers from default or from the gallery which you like and you call you can also add widget so the widget is fun so let's move them to their previous position so here it is and let's add a widget music widget so that's it so we have added it so that was the home so now let me show you the dial pad the dial pad is also awesome so it's a it's a stroke room of music handset so basically you will find this on music handset if you buy buy it so this is the dial pad the dial pad looks great so here is the messages app so so that is the applications i have installed so here you will find a lot of applications so the camera the camera is awesome you will find a camera fix uh, with the room you have to flash that with the room you can see the focus I think it's too close for that it can't capture it now you can see so that was our camera and now there is a lot of options in camera manual mode panorama mode gif and video so that was the camera section now photo size make it to the highest so that was the camera the camera is good so the gallery the gallery app is awesome if you capture any photos from here so you will see this from there and the gallery so the gallery is looks great so you'll find I'll, uh, find some third-party apps by default user center or memos memos is very important when you want to note something in hurry so that's it and there is security painter so uh, you should know that uh, the Chinese mobiles doesn't provide Google Play Store so you have to flash open GFs. so go to opengfs.com and download Pico Android version 5.1 just download it and flash it so that's it so there is a data connection bug on this room so this is the notification arena your notification will be there and this is the notification toggles this is awesome you can turn on auto brightness or flashlight everything mm, the most thing i love this about this room is your smart touch this is awesome this is a future like 
uh, you have on your iPhone so this works great so now this is the setting section as you can see the battery backup is uh, not very much but when you install expose installer and amplify uh, on amplify a exposed model it is and a model then the battery backup is uh, good than the previous one i have noticed that so that was the battery section so here you can see so everything is great here so personalization so this is the thing i like most that you can down you can download any theme so you can as you can see you can download it any theme sorry there is no wi-fi so let's connect our wi-fi so one two three boom we are connected so so the wi-fi is connected so now it's loading so that's it so we'll go to home so there's the home so if you double touch on our smart touch uh, so double tap on this so it will launch our tax manager uh, so you can personalize uh, what you have what you want with this so just let me show you go to the setting then accessibility then a smart touch just uh, customize what you want so this is the base thing base drum i have ever used on my device so everything works great so you will find uh, keyboard of chinese keyboard but you can type english but you can't understand the other thing uh, with Chinese language so just what you have to do you have to install any keyboard from Play Store I have installed rhythmic keyboard so that's it so as I am saying there is a bug on the data connection app you can't turn on data connection so you will need a dual sim control this app I will provide the link on the description just swipe plate data connection and just click on which sim you want to turn on your data so that's it again there is a problem with cyanogen mode rooms that if you fly mode or airplane mode this device you have to reboot um, to have your sim network again so i am telling this so the battery backup as i said this is good now the file explorer it's also awesome so if we talk about the security section so as you can see so the tax manager in the tax manager you can just long press on a uh, app which you want to lock so what we want to lock next we will go to the setting let's lock the thing so you can lock the setting just clear all everything will be cleared without the so as you can see so this is awesome feature if you uh, do a lot of multitasks so this is the setting section so you can the thing you can sound on you can select any of your music as your ringtone as you can see local music it's a scanning wait 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 so it's taking a long time so that's it so you can find you can easily set ringtone so that was sorry now there is no bugs on security so as you can see you scan password so you can enter any four digit password or five digit password so everything is awesome you can also control the notifications which notification should uh, show you so as it so manage notification so the room see the room is awesome 
as you can see toggle management you can add any i have replaced the dnd mode with a screenshot just hold on it and replace with any replace with any other so this is the awesome feature so you can also have your display shown in the also battery percentage so the battery percentage is uh, by default turned on so i prefer you to turn off this because if you turn on battery percentage you will think that my battery is uh, the battery backup is not good so just turn off the battery percentage and you will feel you will must feel the battery backup is good so display and brightness everything works fine battery so so it's showing me that towards so there are more modes you can change so that was our section now everything is fine with this everything works great so hope you guys enjoy the video if you enjoy the video then like us comment us subscribe us feel free to comment below cool 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 so the rom is currently installed on my symphony bt it can also be installed on micromax q380 the chipset is mt65 8 to the kernel is 3.10.54 so if you need the roms just follow the description thank you if you face any difficulties then comment below thank you have a nice day I'm going to go